PeopleSoft FSCM Update Image 53 introduced the Work Management Framework, which is an optional feature that is enabled for work centers. Update Image 54 delivers the Work Management Framework for five additional modules shown on the screen. Your organization decides whether to use this framework by configuring it for My Work transactions. The Work Management Framework enables you to view and manage transaction errors or warnings when they appear in the My Work section of a work center. Some transactions fall off this list through the natural progression of a business process within the system. Other transactions may require additional tasks outside of the system, like notifying specific individuals via email, making phone calls, or other tasks. When work management is enabled for a transaction, the system displays a view drop-down box above the grid and additional action options along the left side of the grid. See the Update Image 53 Highlights video for additional highlights about the work management feature. This completes the Work Management Framework feature description. PeopleSoft adds the Fluid Work Center for lease administration. The My Work Expandable section provides sections to manage lease statuses, critical dates, and processes. The My Approvals Expandable section allows you to review and act on pending approvals that are assigned to you. The Links Expandable section allows you to access frequently used internal and external links. System Security controls the components that are available to each user. The Queries Expandable section allows you to access frequently used public and private queries and the Query Manager. The Reports and Processes Expandable section allows you to access system-defined run control pages for reports and processes to which you have access. The My Insights Expandable section allows you to access Insights dashboards for lease administration. Additionally, PeopleSoft adds the Procurement Work Center, leveraging the same Fluid Work Center framework and functionality. The My Work Expandable section is designed to manage exceptions and pending activities. The My Approvals Expandable section allows you to view and approve pending requisitions and purchase orders. The Work Center also offers quick access to purchasing effectiveness and purchasing operations insights, as well as frequently used links, queries, reports, and processes. If Work Management Framework is enabled, you can view and manage exceptions when they appear in the My Work Exception section of a PeopleSoft Work Center. This completes the Fluid Work Center feature description. PeopleSoft delivers the AP Match Exception Insights Dashboard to view match exceptions summarized by voucher as well as match exceptions when using the Match Exception Collaboration Center, or MECC. The four metrics at the top summarize the voucher match exceptions. The Match Exception Aging Visualization provides aging of match exceptions with the gross invoice amount and number of vouchers for each aging category. The number of voucher exceptions by match rule and gross invoice amount by match rule visualizations provide the number of vouchers for each match rule exception and the gross invoice amount for each match rule. The match exception vouchers grid can be downloaded to Excel. You can also drill down to the voucher from here. The visualizations in this section require Match Exception Collaboration Center to be installed. Each visualization displays the number of unresolved exceptions based on assignment and the Match Exception Group rule. The unresolved exceptions with a resolution code and unresolved exception status visualizations display the number of unresolved exceptions with a resolution code and the unresolved exceptions by status. The MECC Transaction Details Grid can be downloaded to Excel. You can also drill down to the Match Exception. 
The resolved exceptions by assignment and resolved exceptions visualizations display the number of resolved exceptions for each user ID and by resolution description. You need to enable Include Resolved Exceptions on your user preferences to view this information. This completes the Insights Dashboard's description. PeopleSoft enhances the Create Requisition process in Fluid to import and browse external supplier catalogs via Oracle Business Network or OBN. E-procurement administrators import and manage these catalogs using the Maintain External Catalogs page. When requesters search for items, the Fluid Create Requisition search results page displays internal and external catalog items. An external item icon appears before the item name to indicate the item is from an external catalog. To find a specific external catalog, requesters select the relevant Direct Connect node name in the Category Path filter. If multiple suppliers are available for an item, the system displays an Alternate Punch-Out Suppliers link. Use the Alternate Punch-Out Suppliers page to view all suppliers that offer the same product. Compare options from each supplier to get the best price and add the item to the cart. After selecting an item and completing the checkout process on the external supplier site, the system returns to the e-procurement create requisition page. Use the e-procurement installation options page and select return page after punch out to have the system return to the create requisition page. This completes the load external catalog items into e-procurement from OBN feature description. PeopleSoft introduces enhancements across the General Ledger, Receivables, Payables, and Billing modules to improve usability, data management, and logging processes. These changes leverage OneDrive for data sharing and manipulation, enhance spreadsheet functionality, and streamline log management. Spreadsheets are compatible with OneDrive, allowing multiple users to collaborate. Users with permission can manage and reload data, and the changes are visible to the original user. The Excel worksheet for all modules displays logs in a new tab within the worksheet instead of creating a separate log file. Use the Clear Logs button, which displays a confirmation message, to ensure data integrity. General Ledger adds the ability to mark journal spreadsheets as favorites. Sheets marked as favorites or non-favorites can be sorted alphabetically based on setup level options. Receivables includes deposit and direct journal import logs in the same workbook. The spreadsheet enhancements improve user experience, streamline workflows, and ensure compatibility with OneDrive. A unified log management approach across modules reduces complexity and enhances data integrity. This completes the Excel Upload Enhancements description. PeopleSoft enhances your ability to maintain compliance and enhance the security of credit card data in your financial and supply chain management system by allowing you to select from multiple algorithms when encrypting credit card data. Use the Manage Credit Card Encryption page to change the profile ID used to encrypt and decrypt credit card numbers for all tables in your financial and supply chain management system. This process also re-encrypts credit card numbers using the new profile ID. Select a profile ID which is loaded by your system administrator using the Administer Encryption Profile page. The encryption process converts each field in the grid. All products automatically use the new encryption and decryption profiles after the process completes. Changing your credit card encryption profile to use an updated encryption algorithm provides better protection of sensitive financial information. This completes the credit card encryption feature description.
PeopleSoft enhances supplier relationship management by providing the option to view all supplier users from supplier contact related pages and all supplier contacts from supplier user related pages. For example, the Add Update Supplier, Review Suppliers, and Subrecipient Supplier Contact pages display a Supplier Users link, allowing users to view the list of associated supplier users. This link is available only when the supplier has at least one supplier user defined. The Define Supplier User and Supplier User pages also display a Contacts link which allows you to view the list of associated supplier contacts. This link appears only if the supplier has at least one contact defined in the Supplier Master Contact tables. When registering a new supplier, user profile information is now optional when the contact is not the primary contact. PeopleSoft enhances mobile inventory receiving to display a warning message indicating when an advanced shipping notice, or ASN, exists for an item. This warning alerts you that an item is scheduled to be received through an ASN, which prevents manual receipt entry when an ASN is already in place. When you attempt to receive an item that has an advanced shipment notice, a warning message is displayed. If you want to proceed, you can click Yes to continue with the receipt or No to return to the previous page. This completes the feature descriptions for Supplier Relationship Management. Update Image 54 enhances the page flow for proxy users or delegates who create travel authorizations on behalf of other employees. When a proxy user or delegate selects the Add Travel Authorization button, a new employee search window appears. The user can select the Create for Self button or an employee ID for the travel authorization. This completes the feature description for Enterprise Service Automation. This list provides additional features and enhancements added for FSCM Update Image 54. A new Payment Justification field is available for Accounts Payable Vouchers, which is available for all voucher styles, regardless of the payment type and EFT layout. Australian banks can now create alphanumeric account numbers. Payables has the option to utilize Pressure Seal 1099 forms. Supplier Relationship Management enhances supplier classification tracking by adopting the PeopleTools XL to Component Interface Utility, which allows you to upload and maintain classification information using an Excel file. Purchasing and Strategic Sourcing now support virtual credit cards for supplier payments, which includes voucher denial comments in email notifications. The Expenses Admin View page allows you to send an expense report back to the requester and deny an expense report. And in Asset Lifecycle Management, a link is now available on the My Task Work Order page, which accesses attachments that are on the Assets General Information page. The Asset Management Inter Unit Transfer Spreadsheet upload includes chart fields and location code changes. And a seven-year depreciation forecast report is added to the depreciation reporting load process. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.